I am delighted to be joined by Tabiso, Tabiso Melula, who is joining us today um, from sunny South Africa. I hope it's sunny South Africa. Very hot. Very <laughs> hot. Jolly good, it's quite chilly here. Um, thank you to be so for taking time to be with us today. You're in the presenter's hot seat as a presenter at the NLP, NLP International Conference in May. And your topic is who, not how. So do start by telling us a little bit more about yourself and your presentation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, firstly, to you, Karen, and to the entire ANLP um, for this opportunity. Um, firstly, for creating a wonderful opportunity to really just gather all the NLP professionals around and just like-minded um, people from all over the world to simply just come and celebrate, you know, um, NLP, um, Neuro Linguistic Programming for, for, for what it offers and the different gifts it really provides. My name, um, for those of you who, who know me, is still Tabiso Mailula. Um, for those of you who don't know me, definitely Tabiso Mailula. And, and um, I love to see myself as, maybe let me begin with this, because I think um, going into the topic, which is who, not how, um, I need to first recognize um, the ANLP for being a who in my life. Um, I am an ANLP ambassador. Um, for South Africa. I am an NLP trainer. I am an uncle. I am a, a, a fiance um, and I'm a father to be. And I'm really, really excited. I'm a son and, and um, I'm proud to, to, to call myself an NLP practitioner. You know, I always say, um, if, if you're not practicing NLP, I don't know what you are. You're an NLP, I don't know what, um, because NLP, you practice it, whether you're coaching or in just how you live your life. And, and the, the simply just embodying NLP for me has allowed me to learn and recognize that I am the universe. And I always say, I see myself as the universe, firstly, because I am able to identify as almost anything that exists in the universe, but also simply because I see myself as connected to the universe because my finger is a part of my hand and my hand is a part of my arm. My arm is a part of my body. My body is a part of my family. My family is a part of my community that I grew up in in Zanin, the community, South Africa as a whole, and South Africa as a whole is a part of Africa. Africa is a part of the world and the world a part of the universe, but even more so, that in the universe that we see with the beautiful galaxy, with the stars that shine, and both the stars that shine brightly, which resembles the things that I'm proud of, the things that I'm really good at, and the darkness that allows for the stars to shine. The things, the darkness, being the things that I'm ashamed of, the things that I might not be so great at, but knowing that I'm so much greater than all of that. And that's who I am. And I encourage you all to simply embrace that, that you are so much more than whatever it is that you identify as in the universe. So much more than that. That's who I am. I'm so glad to be presenting on who, not how. Because I feel that, you know, reflecting on the most significant moment in my life, and I'll still say this, not because I'm talking to you, Karen, but the most significant moment in my life was winning the International NLP Inspiration Award, you know, and, and being recognized for that. I think for me, for the first time in my life, I felt that I was seen, I was recognized, I was acknowledged for being Tabiso, for being me. I didn't have to do anything you know, anything extraordinary for me to be awarded and be recognized. And that's why it's always, always meant so much to me. But in that moment, you became a significant who in my life. Right. You know, um, a few months before that, I'd set goals, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, about how I wanted to become an NLP, you know, international trainer. However, if I had set 
those, you know, follow the steps, the strategies that I had in place, I would have achieved the goal I achieved when I got recognized in London three or five years later. However, because of certain who's in my life, mm -hmm. that was able to happen a lot faster. And the who's that got me there are the who's being the patients I worked with at Talisman Foundation who decided to, to, to really acknowledge me for, for the, 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 the role I played in their lives using NLP by nominating me, you know, um, for, for, for the awards. That's the, they were the, my first who in this journey. And, and secondly, the, the clients, the students that I trained who decided when I decided to ask for help from who's in my life, they were able to come through and make that journey possible. When in my own strength, I wouldn't have made it possible. And simply because in that journey, I decided the only way I can really say thank you to these significant who's in my life was to really take them on a journey with me. And taking them on a journey with me is how I was able to be recognized by the ANLP. And I want to share this because, and, and you know, when I set goals, there's a time when I said I am flying from um, Spain. I've just done two talks in Madrid and in Barcelona, and I'm flying to London. And I'm speaking to my wife. I, I'm not yet married yet. Speaking to my wife and my two little boys, and I'm saying to my wife, you know, I'm just going to London to meet with a few NLP professionals just to learn the latest trends in NLP. I said this a year before I was invited as a finalist to come to London. And I wrote this down. I didn't know how. I didn't know how, but there were certain significant rules in my life who were present. Mm -hmm. And I want to share the secret with professionals out there who would love to fast track their ability to achieve their desired outcomes in life by simply focusing on the who's. Yeah. Some of us in the goals that we set, we struggle to achieve the goals that we want to achieve because we don't know who we will become. And a wise man once said, you know, I think it was Mahatma Gandhi who said, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Yeah. You know, and that was the first motto that I had in the first company that I had. But I knew who I wanted to become instead of how that was happening. And I simply trusted the universe. I trusted the process that who I will become, who I want to be, I will become. The how doesn't matter. It will fall into place if I simply focus on just building those relationships with significant others for me to get there. Brilliant and inspirational and and actually yes it was probably one of the best moments in my life as well when you won when you won that award um, so yes thank you I, I'm I'm mesmerised already and I need to remember to ask another question now um, so so what will delegates take away from your session to be so well I mean firstly I think what's important uh, for for delegates to be aware as I've mentioned is. Firstly, for delegates to become clear about who they want to become. Uh, I think that's the most important thing, who they want to become. You know, and, and, and in terms of the who, what's important is aligning at least three core values, you know, to, 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 that are aligned to who they want to become and what they want to achieve in life. Also realizing, you know, I think it's important to also, what I'm going to take them through is, Firstly, also to learn how to model themselves, because all of us at some point in our lives, we knew, you know, we, we, we focused on certain who's at some point in our lives. It might have been when we were still young, where we couldn't do things ourselves, but simply at some point, we started thinking that the only way to achieve what we want to achieve was as a result of our own strength. But there's a point in our lives where we trusted other people. And what I'd love for us to do is you are going to learn how to model yourself so that you are able to use your own strategy. But also you learn how to model other people who you feel embody this 
you know, strategy of achieving their goals. Yeah. You'd also learn how to identify between, you know, your resourceful identity and your unresourceful identity. Because that's you knowing the difference between the who that is ideal for you mm -hmm. and the who that is not ideal for you. You know, so much of the time we focus on the qualities, you know, the resources that we want to become, that we want to have, but we fail to notice some of the resources that we need to let go. Yes. And you cannot yes. let go of something that you do not even know. Yes. And lastly, um, I think I would also just reignite this, 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 the importance of who, just reflecting on just areas in my life where who's have been significant, but also for you to realize the value of having recognized, I mean, of having embraced certain who's in your life. I mean, we live our life with who's, you know, we cannot live life alone. So you will learn how is it to embrace this, but how to recognize some of those times, but also how to recognize the motivation that you need to be to, to have in order for you to, to, to achieve the goals that you desire. That is your why, you know, your why. What it is that you will get from becoming a, a significant who and how to actually start trusting other people in your journey towards achieving what you want to achieve in your life. Thank you. Um, so to be so, is there anything that uh, delegates can do uh, before your session so that they uh, enjoy a deeper experience, that they gain a deeper understanding during your session? Um, I would probably look, um, I think very important, delegates firstly need to become clear about the welcome outcome. Just if, if you haven't, been exposed to NLP before, read up a little bit on the well-formed outcome, um, how to set well-formed outcomes. So you've got a brief idea around well-formed outcomes. I'll also encourage you to read the book, Who Not How, by Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy. Who Not How by Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy. So I really, really encourage delegates to just, if you can, before that, do some reading around that. It's going to stimulate some ideas for you, but also give you a sense of the value um, of focusing on the who's. Obviously, I'm not going to be focusing directly on how the book is structured. I'll bring you, bring in a bit of modeling, bring, a, bring in a bit of um, NLP into that, just so that you're able to get more value and you're able to integrate what this book has to offer in alignment to what NLP can help you do what this book is talking about. Wonderful. I will see if that's on Audible and get, get it straight away. Um, thank you. So, uh, to be so, we actually met for the first time at the NLP conference. Um, seems like a hundred years ago now, um, but it was it was it was a memorable occasion. I think for everybody who was at that conference and who met you for the first time. Um, so, what does the NLP International Conference mean to you? The NLP conference means everything to me and and I need to just unpack that a little bit more when I say it means everything because for me I still say um it's it was 2018 I mean I can maybe might not even remember how old I was then um but that's probably what four years ago so I was probably around 25 26 26 years in my life 25 years in my life um I felt that I had worked so hard to be recognized I'd done my best but for the first time, I felt that Tabiso was seen for who he was um, at this conference. Um, two, so I think because of the people that are there um, and because everyone who's there embraces the, 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 the principles and the presuppositions of NLP, they are able to recognize excellence everywhere. And, and, and if you really want to just experience excellence and, and just warm, loving hearts who are excited about learning, who are excited about connecting, I encourage you to go to the NLP conference. And, and you know, I still remember um, some of the, the, the people that I met, you know, um, because I was just curious and just um, 
excited. I remember meeting with, with um, you know, a, a specific uh, lady and just had a chat with her. And she's like, hmm, so, 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 um, you know, what do you niche in? And I remember just talking there and I said, oh, um, you know, I, I, I don't see the, the, the importance of niching. And, and we started speaking, we started speaking. And she said, oh, well, interesting. Okay, I've decided to niche in this area. And, um, you know, guess who I was talking to? None other but than Shelly Ann. Shelly uh, Thank you. Wow. And Shelly Rochafe. And I sat there <laughs> thinking, later when I discovered who she was, I thought, wow, I admire the humility and how she really just still held the space and really just, um, you know, respected my map of the world where it was and still shared her insight. And I remember thinking, oh, wow, that's really powerful. Hmm, interesting. I'll actually think on that a bit, only to realize that I was speaking to one of the greatest, <laughs> one of the greatest contributors to the field of NLP. Um, I, I got to meet the likes of Robert Diltz. I, I, I still say when I was, I still share to my students that, you know, when I studied NLP, I thought, oh, this is so old that these people have long passed and so forth and everything only to meet Robert Diltz. But the beauty around it is, is the connection, the learning. I, you know, I always say, um, if you ever find yourself in a room where you're the most intelligent person, leave. <laughs> um, and, and, and that's why my calendar is cleared. I still had to sit and negotiate, you know, with my fiance a little bit to say, okay, fine. I want to go to the NLP conference next year in London. And she said, um, but you're going to be a father then, you know, your child will only be six months. <laughs> yes, I understand. Is it possible for me to, because I've already cleared the calendar every year. And I've said to, to her before that, babe, I've always said to you, as long as the conference is happening in London, I want to clear my calendar to be there. She said, yes, but I thought we were going to go there together, you know, <laughs> um, so yeah, so at least I finally I've, I've been given um, the opportunity to get there. So I'll definitely be coming and I'm really excited simply just to come and learn, to grow, to connect with people and just get that stimulation and, and come home with new versions of NLP. It's almost like every time I come to the conference, I come back with something else. And I'm like, whoa, guys, I've got a lot of stuff. There's a lot of now <laughs> practice groups that are happening that I come back with all this knowledge and I'm struggling to keep my courses to the allocated time that I've always, because I come with so much knowledge and I feel like, oh, can't I add in a little bit of this? And then I add in a little bit of that. And the same content that I used to teach now, I've got more insight and I'm struggling to sift and share just enough. Mm -hmm. You know, so if, if you really, really just want to increase your knowledge, I really encourage you to go to the NLP conference. It's, 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 the place that once you get there, the bug is going to bite. There's no way you can go to the NLP conference and not be bitten by the bug. And once you do that, you will make sure that you're there all the time. Oh, thank you to be so. And your energy and enthusiasm, I think, is what drives so many of us to um, to keep doing what we do. Um, so to remind to remind uh, people watching, to be so is presenting at the NLP conference. Um, we are honoured, uh, even though you're currently in South Africa, you are joining us in London to present on Saturday the 14th of May in person. Um, you're presenting from 11am on uh, British summer time. That will be live streamed as well for people who can't make it to London. Um, but we are so excited to see you in London on the 14th of May to uh, hear your presentation who, not how. So thank you so much to be so for spending time with us today today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You know, I love to close with this small little story, you know, and 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 probably hits home to 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 you, the organizers of you know the NLB conference, but also to the topic that I'll be speaking on. You know, when you're organizing a conference or an event or you're hosting something, um, I don't know if you've noticed, if 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 you're hosting, when things go wrong you have to run around like crazy. Um, and only the people that are part of the team, part of the organizing committee, are the ones who take responsibility for everything that happens, for everything to work out, for everything to run smoothly. 
Similarly, um, I don't know if you've noticed, if you attend an event as a guest, simply as a guest, when things go wrong, you sit there and you fold your arms and you wait for things to go right and you hope they sort it out. Another reason I want to invite people to join my session is simply for them to be able to show up into their lives as hosts instead of guests. So many of us struggle to achieve what we want to achieve in life simply because we show up as guests in our lives instead of hosts so that we can take responsibility, accountability for all that we want to be, have, and do.